Hello you guys, today I wanted to talk about uh, my incident where I had to get uh, police involved in Russia and I'm going to compare police in Russia to America and I have to tell you that the police in Russia, I had a much better experience with them than with the police in California. But anyway, so what happened? I was filming my blog and I uh, pointed my camera at one of the cafes, right? It was one of those like ethnic cafes and I probably, I didn't even push record. I didn't even have time to push record. I just pointed the camera at the cafe and then I have, I hear this vo voice to the left of me saying, hey, delete that now. Right? And I'm like, uh, I turn around and there's like three people uh, to the left of me, surrounding me. And I'm like, uh, what's the problem, guys? And I'm like already scared, you know, for my life as anybody would be. And they're like, delete what you just filmed. I'm like, well, what's the problem? I'm standing outside. Uh, they're like, no, delete it. I'm like, fine, fine. Um, I go like, I didn't even push record. And they go like, delete it anyway. They go like, I don't believe you. I go like, well, let me show you, let me show you the phone. And I showed them the phone. And after I did that, they still go delete it. And I'm like, do you understand the fact that there's nothing? I go like, here, I scrolled through the photos and videos and I go like, there's nothing on my phone. Uh, and they go <coughs> delete it anyway. So they go delete it anyway. I go like, hey guys, listen, uh, if you keep pushing this shit, because I got kind of angry, you know, I, I I can't say I was completely scared and I go like, oh my god, oh my god, run away. No, I was like, all right, dude, if you don't understand f fucking Russian, you know, then we're going to deal with the police. I'm like, I'm going to call the police and then you're going to have to explain to them uh, your immigration papers and, uh, you know, the fact that you're in this country if freaking probably without any permits because I know these people, <coughs> how, how they get here. He's like, fine. And, and then like five other people, three other people come out. They, they didn't say anything, but they just stand around. I go, all right, fine. So I walk away and then I call Russian equivalent of 911. So I called the Russian equivalent of 911 and I told them everything was going on. They go, all right, just hold on. There is a, you know, there is a, there's, they're going to come. So about 15 minutes passed and then they showed up, two guys. And keep in mind that I remember when I called the police in California, it took them two, three hours. Sometimes they didn't even come at all. These people showed up in 15 minutes. It's better than what it is in the United States. I explained to them what's going on. They go, like, all right. They go like, we totally understand what's going on. Let's go talk to them. We go to the cafe, we go inside. <laughs> and uh, these people start acting like they don't know what the hell is going on, you know, because they're so effing stupid that uh, I don't think they thought that I would call the cops or the cops showed up. I don't know, you know, whatever. Anyway, they go, oh, we don't know what's talking about. Um, and I go, like, where's that dude? Where, where's the guy that was threatening me? And he go, like, he went home. <laughs> then the cop goes, like, all right, call him. <laughs> Keep in mind that this whole situation was proceeding. Again, I'm comparing it to America because I lived in America for 25 years, right? The, the, the whole thing was way more direct and to the point. Like, like the whole thing was handled perfectly. Like, I, I don't have anything to contribute to how it was handled. So the, the, the police guy goes, call, call him. The guy behind the counter calls him. The police guy goes like, dude, uh, he goes, you have five minutes to get the F over here. Apologize to him. Otherwise, you're going to go to jail. He's like, you understand? And it, it, it sounded like the guy on the phone didn't want to come. And the cop goes like, dude, you, like, you effing come here or you're going to have problems. Then another five minutes uh, passed by and he showed up, the guy. And keep in mind, this guy is like short, right? I mean, he's probably like a head shorter than me. I don't know what the hell, you know, what was wrong with him. But... Um, the cop goes like, what the F are you doing? And I, I, I told the guy, I go like, do you understand that I freaking eat at your cafe? I already been here like probably five times. And then I also talked to the other guy. I go like, what were you guys doing? 
you know, why didn't you say anything? Of course, their mental level is not exactly, you know, that high, so they didn't, they didn't say anything, but they looked pissed. I can tell you that. They looked pissed that they had to explain all of that. So the cop goes like, all right, dude, you gonna f and apologize to him, uh, or you gonna go to jail? The guy goes, I am sorry. And, you know, obviously, since the cops were so nice to me, there's no way I was gonna... Because the one thing I could do is I could write uh, something called a... In Russian, it's called заявление, which is like... Uh, I guess a report or something. I could write a report against him, you know, and that's the first thing you do in case of like uh, this types of a crime. You 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 write all that, and uh, so the deal was if he apologized to me that I would not make a report. So I didn't make a report. I I shook his hand, but I don't know. I mean, whatever. And the cops left. Super nice. Again, like. Um, this makes me think uh, of a lot of things, and I, I can tell you I realized a lot of time ago that Russian cops were better than American cops. I, I knew there was a lot of things wrong with the cops in California. Um, this incident was handled perfectly, you know? What the cops do in California is they often confuse the aggressor and the victim. Like, for example, let's say in California, if there is somebody staying at your house, and I don't know if this goes for other states, I don't know, I don't have the time to live in another state for 10 years and find out, nor do I really want to. But what happens in California, if let's say you have a house, and in that house stays some kind of deadbeat renter, which California is full of, and they don't pay rent, if you even try remotely to kick them out, I'm not talking about like physically, I'm just talking about just going there and like telling them to get out, you could get arrested. You could get arrested for the smallest thing. The thing that California cops do before they investigate any crime is they run the victim for uh, like a computer check to make sure that uh, they, they don't need to arrest the victim for some kind of, you know, so people are scared to call the cops because it could easily turn against them. Here was perfect. And I can tell you, I've had several, uh, for example, people in Russia don't think that cops are that great. You would hear all kinds of bad things about cops in Russia, but I don't think these people have something to compare it to like I have it comp I, I can compare it to cops in California you know and therefore the Russian cops aren't perfect by any means you hear all kinds of stories here but oh, I can tell you my personal dealings with them have all been really good like I, I've had a couple of other instances where I had to deal with Russian cops mostly they were good same thing they handled everything uh, within reason you know, everything was reasonable, like, I don't expect them to do magic or whatever, right? But everything was very reasonable, and uh, unlike what was going on in California. So, anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my blog. i talk to you guys later.